something really stings you, it really upsets you, you know that there's something, an insecurity, a fear, or something going on there. What does that process of discovering what it really is that's bothering you look like so that you can remove it? Yeah, I mean, I think the first thing that happens is you try to externalize that thing and rationalize other reasons why it's not your own shit. You know, rationalize why this is something that is legitimate, you know? And, and you should feel this way and you're justified in your anger and you're justified in, and so you have to get through that initial, you know, initial kind of desire to rationalize these things that you're feeling and then just go back to the understanding like, all right, what can I learn from this? Like where, where is this touching me? Where, what is the wound that I have that this is activating? Because ultimately we are responsible for our own reaction to things. You know, we're not responsible for the things themselves. I mean, people are gonna do messed up things, you know, things that, things that hurt. You know, there's gonna be random chaotic incidences that are gonna be unfortunate in your life, but we're responsible for our action and reaction to those things always. And the strongest reactions are typically coming from places of wound or fear or insecurity. So it's just the practice of really looking at those things. And um, you know, that's that kind of deep introspection that requires getting really still and clearing out you know, your identity as the ego and your identity as the body and then accepting your identity as consciousness as the observer of things. And I, you know, I think one of the you know, really tactical ways that I do that is I'll, if, if I'm angry or upset, I'll go, I'll put myself in the third person and say, oh look, the Aubrey is angry right now. Like, what's the Aubrey feeling? Why is the Aubrey so angry? Well, the Aubrey's angry because he's scared. You know, he's scared that he's gonna lose something or he's scared that this is not gonna happen. So it always typically comes back to some kind of fear. And so being objective allows you to kind of look at that stuff 